Before we actually proceed to creating our virtual machine that we will use for hacking, I believe most of you are wondering, why Linux? Why are we installing a Linux operating system on a virtual machine? Can't we hack using Windows or Mac OS? Well, yes we can, but Linux is something far better for that. So, what are the benefits of using Linux? First thing that's great about Linux is that it is an open source operating system. This means that we can inspect the code of it and see how it is made and what programs or functions it runs. It can be used for any type of work, not only for hacking, many programmers also use Linux, many servers all around the world are running on Linux. And another great thing about it is that most of the Linux distros are free of cost. Maybe some of you have heard about Ubuntu, Linux Mint or Debian. Well, to use an updated Windows operating system, you must pay for a license. Linux, on the other hand, is free to download for anyone. And not only that, but it also, due to it being an open source, it allows the users of Linux to edit, copy or distribute various aspects of Linux-based operating system without violating any copyright law or terms and conditions. This is one of the main reasons hackers use Linux because they can easily develop softwares used for hacking and penetration testing on Linux and they can change and edit the operating system for their needs. It is also very light, requires lesser disk space, consumes lesser RAM in order to run, so it can be easily ran alongside any other operating system like Windows and Mac OS. And last but not least is that, as we mentioned, due to Linux being an open source and allowing anyone to change and interact with the operating system, it allows people to create an operating system that will specifically be made for one purpose, such as, for example, ethical hacking or penetration testing. And Linux distros like this already exist. There are Linux distros called Cal Linux, Parrot, Backtrack and others that are especially made for penetration testing and checking for security loopholes. And all of them are widely being used by hackers. And in this course, we will be using Kali Linux, one of the Linux distros specially created for hackers and penetration testers. What's great about it is that it automatically comes after installation with a bunch of different tools used by penetration testers for hacking and we're going to cover those tools and go step by step through them, plus we'll be installing tools created by other people and at the advanced parts of this course we'll be creating our own hacking tools. How cool will that be? So now that we know exactly which Linux distro are we going to install and what are the benefits of using Linux, in the next video we can create our virtual hacking lab.